Welcome to the heartwarming world of Little House on the Prairie, a timeless television series that first graced screens in 1974. Set against the backdrop of the late 19th century, the show follows the adventures and challenges of the Ingalls family as they build a life on the American frontier. As you delve into the nostalgic landscape of this beloved series, you might find yourself reminiscing about the simpler times it portrays. Perhaps you have a cherished memory associated with the show a quiet evening spent with family, the comforting glow of the TV screen, and the enduring life lessons woven into each episode. Now, let's transport ourselves back to those rustic prairies and explore some intriguing facts about the show. Did you know that Little House on the Prairie was adapted from Laura Ingalls Wilder's autobiographical book series? The TV adaptation masterfully captured the essence of her tales, becoming a cultural touchstone for audiences around the world. The series, known for its heartfelt storytelling and endearing characters, addressed a range of themes, from family bonds to the challenges of pioneer life. It left an indelible mark on viewers, creating lasting connections that extend far beyond the screen. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to Little House on the Prairie? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Share the moments that have stayed with you resonating across the years. Step back into the world of the prairie where every episode is a journey filled with laughter, tears, and timeless lessons. Join us in celebrating the enduring legacy of Little House on the Prairie. Alison Arngrim, who eventually portrayed the iconic character Nellie Olson in the 1974 TV series Little House on the Prairie, initially vied for the roles of both Laura and Marion Galls. It wasn't until she auditioned for the role of Nellie that she secured her spot on the show. The series, loosely based on the books by Laura Ingalls Wilder, took creative liberties with its characters. Notably, characters like Albert Ingalls, the Garveys, and Adam Kendall were entirely fabricated for the show. Mary Ingalls, although attending a blind school, did not marry, while the real-life Carrie Ingalls pursued a successful career as a real estate agent later in life. Matthew Labiordo, who played Albert Ingalls, is the adopted brother of Patrick Labiordo, known for his role as Andrew Garvey in the series. These behind-the-scenes insights offer a glimpse into the casting decisions and creative choices that shaped the beloved television series, providing fans with a deeper understanding of the show's development. The Sierra 3 locomotive, with its distinctive red and gold enamel 3 medallion played a recurring role in the 1974 TV series Little House on the Prairie. This iconic black train, a staple in numerous movies and television shows for almost a century, graced the screen alongside the Ingalls family and their adventures on the American frontier. The locomotive's impressive list of credits includes appearances in High Noon, The Virginian, The Great Race, Back to the Future Part 3, Unforgiven, Petticoat Junction, Rawhide, Bonanza, Gunsmoke, and many others. Its historical significance adds a layer of authenticity to the show's portrayal of life in the late 19th century. This unique detail sheds light on the meticulous attention to historical accuracy and production values that define Little House on the Prairie. The use of such a recognizable prop reflects the show's commitment to creating a believable and immersive world for its audience. Stay tuned for more insights into the intriguing behind-the-scenes details that contributed to the success of the beloved TV series Little House on the Prairie. In her autobiography Prairie Tale, Melissa Gilbert revealed behind-the-scenes realities of the 1974 TV series Little House on the Prairie. Michael Landon and crew members regularly consumed alcohol on set, contributing to Landon's eventual battle with pancreatic cancer. Known for his heavy smoking and tumultuous personal life, Landon's dedication to the show endured. The challenges faced on set extended beyond personal habits. Conflicts arose with cast dynamics. Catherine Scotty McGregor, though a talented performer, disrupted the set by giving unsolicited direction and clashing with directors. Michael Landon contemplated firing her, but her portrayal of the show's villain kept her in the cast. McGregor's turbulent presence added an unexpected layer to the series, illustrating the complex dynamics that shaped the on-screen world. Stay tuned for more insights into the intriguing behind-the-scenes details that contributed to the success of Little House on the Prairie. In TV Guide's ranking of the 50 greatest TV dads of all time, Charles Ingalls from the 1974 TV series Little House on the Prairie secured the fourth spot. 
His portrayal by Michael Landon resonated with audiences, making him a memorable and beloved character in television history. Beyond the accolades, the series concluded with a unique twist. The final episode, titled The Last Farewell, deviated from the norm. Michael Landon, the creative force behind the show, conceived an unconventional ending. In this two-hour movie, a railroad executive claims ownership of Hero Township, leading the town's residents to dynamite all of the buildings. Landon believed this dramatic finale, involving dynamite instead of bulldozers, would provide a more fitting and memorable conclusion to the series. Meanwhile, the characters of the Olsons added a layer of complexity to the show. In reality, they were a composite of two separate families encountered by the real Ingalls family. The characterization of Nels Olsen as likable and sympathetic was a fiction created specifically for the TV series. This creative decision highlights the liberties taken in adapting real-life events for the sake of storytelling on the small screen. These intriguing aspects, from Charles Ingall's recognition as one of the greatest TV dads to the unconventional ending of the series, and the fictional portrayal of the Olsons, offer a deeper understanding of the creative choices that shape Little House on the Prairie. Stay tuned for more insights into the intriguing behind-the-scenes details that contributed to the success of the show. Alison Arngrim and Melissa Gilbert shared more than just on-screen chemistry in the 1974 TV series Little House on the Prairie. They were good friends in real life. The camaraderie extended beyond their roles as they engaged in friendly territory wars on the set. This genuine connection between cast members added a layer of authenticity to the series, reflecting the positive dynamics among the actors. Behind the scenes, Michael Landon, the creative force behind the show, had a unique way of addressing his cast. Just as Charles and Galls always called Laura half-pint on the show, Landon continued this tradition off-screen, referring to Melissa Gilbert by the same endearing nickname. This practice aimed to avoid confusion with another Melissa on set, Melissa Sue Anderson. Interestingly, the nickname persisted throughout the production, creating a personal touch to the working relationships among the cast. Speaking of casting decisions, out of the numerous young girls who auditioned for the pivotal role of Laura and Galls, Michael Landon was unwavering in his certainty that Melissa Gilbert was the perfect fit. So convinced was Landon of Gilbert's suitability that hers became the only screentist he sent to the producers at NBC. This decision not only shaped the trajectory of the show, but also underscored Landon's keen insight into casting, setting the tone for the iconic portrayal of Laura and Galls throughout the series. As the show progressed, more unexpected twists unfolded. Just as Charles and Caroline and Galls adopted new family members on screen, the real-life cast saw the arrival of another Melissa, Melissa Francis. She played the role of Cassandra, the adoptive daughter of Charles and Caroline. This edition showcased the evolving dynamics within the Ingalls family, both on and off the screen. These behind-the-scenes glimpses into the relationships among the cast and the casting decisions provide a nuanced understanding of the interpersonal dynamics that contributed to the success of the 1974 TV series Little House on the Prairie. Stay tuned for more insights into the intriguing behind-the-scenes details that shaped this beloved show. As we bid adieu to the enchanting world of Walnut Grove and the endearing characters of Little House on the Prairie, take a moment to traverse the tapestry of your own memories. This timeless series, born in 1974, not only graced our screens but wove itself into the fabric of our lives, teaching us the enduring values of love, resilience, and community. Reflect on the warmth of the Ingalls family hearth, the rustle of the prairie winds, and the echoes of laughter and tears that resonated through each episode. In the gentle embrace of this bygone era, did you find a mirror reflecting your own journey? Did the tales of Laura, Pa, and Ma stir something within you, a connection that transcends time? As you reminisce, we invite you to share your cherished moments, your laughter, and your reflections on how Little House on the Prairie touched your heart. Whether it's a poignant life lesson gleaned or a character whose spirit lingers in your thoughts, let your words be a testament to the enduring power of storytelling. Perhaps it's the innocence of childhood memories, the comforting rituals of watching with loved ones, or the solace found in the simplicity of a prairie sunset. Your stories, like the gentle whispers of the wind across the open plains, add layers to the rich legacy of this iconic series. 
Thank you for embarking on this nostalgic journey with us, for allowing the past to dance with the present, and for keeping the flame of Little House on the Prairie alive in your hearts. Your tales are the embers that continue to glow, bridging generations, and reminding us that, like the prairie itself, some stories endure forever. Gratefully, 